What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. I'm showing you guys the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo. It's officially dropped today for a retail price of 200. Current resale is going for about 240 to 250, depending on sizing. And I was surprised that these shoes sold out pretty quick on sneakers this morning. They sold out around like 11, 1130 ish. With that happening, since it's selling out so fast, and a lot of people did, I guess, want these, the market did rise on these. So um, if you guys were able to get these, congrats. But let's get right into it, guys. So this is the box right here. Pretty normal box. The shoe does mimic the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bull, aka the Toro Bravo, which they call it on this past release. Also did a review on that shoe if you guys want to go check it out. But they didn't show us any love on this box. We got a normal box right here. We got a Jumpman in black, and we got a red top. And on the bottom half, it's gray with some black paint splatters. Now, with that being said, you know, on the Air Jordan 5 box, when it did come out the first time, they did have a nice box i'll show you guys what i'm talking about on the second box it had like a barn but we didn't see the eyes and nothing coming through it but uh they did give us a barn so uh you know it is what it is now with that being said in my opinion jordan seems like they're running out of ideas they're just doing a popular colorway on a different shoe and you know they're kind of like milking it out and things like that but you know we'll see what happens in the future but uh on the front of the box here i think with a size 9.5 all right, we don't get suggested retail on the box. Open up the top of the box. You do get a stamp on the inside of the box right there. The tissue paper does come in gray and white with the paint splatters being in gray. Let's take out this beautiful shoe right here. Definitely a hood favorite. Um, you couldn't find these in a lot of street stores or boutiques today, especially the big sizes. Uh, I'll show you guys the white and green sticker on the inside. So it definitely has the same material as the most recent Air Jordan 5 Toro Bravo, meaning it has that ashy red suede. When you run your hand past it, it does have a little bit of pattern change, but you can't really tell. But uh, I really do like these guys. It's a really nice colorway. They look really nice on feet. So make sure you guys stay for our whole videos for that. The bottom of the shoe here comes in black. We get the Jumpman in red, and then we get the icy blue sole, which will yellow over time, just in case you guys did not know. All right, coming towards the midsole of the shoe here, we get the icy blue sole at the bottom of the shoe and then we get a red and then we get some red and black going across on with the outside and the inside of the shoe towards the back of the shoe here we get a milky translucent bubble which you guys can see all right coming up towards the base of the shoe this shoe is all in this red suede that you guys see right here in this ashy red new buck suede slash hairy suede showing you guys this real quick i do see a lot of glue stains on my pair like on the outside of my left shoe um, on the inside of my left shoe as well, it looks like some paint strokes are missing. It's like red and black down there. Um, so I didn't really get the best quality pair in my opinion, but you know, these shoes are made in the masses. So what can you do? Another thing about the sixes, if you guys did not know, if you guys look on the outside and on the inside, if you guys look at how it is on the middle panel right there, it looks like a two and a three. So if you guys look on the inside, you can see a two. On the outside, you can see a three and vice versa. So. You know, just in case you guys did not know that, if you look on the middle panels on both the inside and the outside, you can mimic and see a two and a three, and that is Jordan's number. Okay, but let's start off with the outside of the shoe here. As you guys can see right here, this is what the outside of the shoe looks like. Pretty dope in my opinion. What do you guys think about these? Is it a cop or a drop for you guys? I know we have a little bit of heat coming up soon, so you know, you gotta be picky on what you are purchasing, and I believe these will go under retail within a few weeks, in my opinion. So if you guys struck out today, you know, you still have another chance, in my opinion, in a few weeks to get these for a better price. Same thing on the inside of the shoe. Okay, not the best quality once again, but you know, it is what it is. Showing you guys a toe box here. These will crease up, but not as easy as other shoes because of the material used. But if you guys wanna wear some crease beast material, I have a code of Y Davis, you'll save yourself five bucks on that. Looking at the mud guard here, we do get some more glue stains on the mud guard. And the mud guard is in black. All right, now, unfortunately, we only do get one pair of laces in these and they come with the red laces. And if you guys look towards the bottom of the tongue here, it comes in this neoprene, even the top portion, which has the Jumpman and the neoprene in the back. And we see the Jumpman logo stitched in um, and you can unsnap and snap this tongue at the top of the tongue, it says Air Jordan in black. All right, coming towards the inside of the shoe here, we do get some tissue inserts and the sock lining of the shoe is in black. All right, the production dates on this was 11 09 22 to 01 10 23. Give you guys a quick look at that real quick. Now, we do get the Dream Cell insoles on these, and they gave us a different color on the back. Normally, it is black, and this one comes in white. All right, we get the sizing sticker on the actual insole. The insole is in black and it's kind of like an ashy black feel. It's not really like a solid black. Underneath that, we see the Jumpman logo in red. Once again, we get the stickers on top of the Air Jordan logo. Show you guys the back one more time of the actual insole. Underneath the actual insole, it does come in like this cardboard material down there. 
we see a little bit of glue stains outlining it. So do get an elastic band tongue on the inside of the shoe so this shoe will keep your foot locked in. All right, towards the back of the shoes here, we get the pull tab back there at the top in black and red and then we get the Jumpman logo and it says air under it the background of that comes in that nappy red suede and that's pretty much going to do it for this shoe now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size nine I'm normally get nine and a half in all my shoes i did go up half a size on these but air jordan six normally do run kind of big so you will be fine if you go true to size i like to wear my shoes unlaced i have one unlaced and i have one laced up and as you guys see even though i did go up half a size my foot doesn't have any slippage on here just in case you guys were wondering about going up half a size it also does has the it also does have the elastic band tongues on the inside of the shoe if you guys missed that earlier in the video to help your foot stay locked in but other than that though they feel really nice on feet very comfortable i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right here so this is my big toe all right i have a good amount of space up there inside of the toe box um and on the inside and on the outside i have a lot of wiggle room so when i'm pushing down on it let me get this phone to focus when i'm pushing down on it as you guys have a lot of room in there same thing on the inside of the shoe so in my opinion, you know, this shoe is a true size fitting shoe and they are pretty comfortable on feet. But if you want a better wearing experience or have a growing foot still, go up half a size in my opinion. And I will show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boys some love and stay tuned.